Technique Friday with Els. Today I'll be showing you a card featuring the snow globe scene die as well as the penguins clear stamps and a coordinating penguins die set. So this is the snow globe I'm creating and I call it a card but you can actually put it down as well because when you open it you can put your greeting in here but you can actually put it down like this as well so it's very decorative as well so that's the penguin but then the original die set comes with a little house with the trees so these two are done uh, by becky by the designer of the die so a little church in there as well and then i have this one by anita isendorn so she uh, used our soft finish cardstock there and you see it has an extra rim on there and then this you can also make it into a shaker card and becky also created this one and um, so these are the dies i'm using so this is the snow globe uh, scene set, uh, so it comes with like the different circles, it has two pieces of snow in there, like snow hill, snowy hills, the little trees, so different trees, the little house, the church, and the snowflakes. So a very versatile die set, and then these are the penguins from Krista, and I love these. So this is the clear stamp set, and it comes with the matching dies. And uh, as you can see, every little piece, the snowflakes, the little penguin, they all have a coordinating die in that set. And I love those. And then this is the paper that I'm using, uh, Moda Scrap, the Vintage Christmas Collection. Beautiful paper. I will just flip through it quickly so you can see the different designs in there. And it's just, it's gorgeous, gorgeous paper. So I'm going to put, put that away and then we can start putting the snow globe together so um, here I have the penguin so that's already colored on watercolor paper and Krista Snyder the designer of the stamps uh, did that for me and then here I have the different pieces I cut so I have the front of the snow globe this is the foam that's the back and this is to make it into a standing card so this is the decorative paper and I cut that with the adhesive on the back so when you die cut these two, make sure, and I will get the die with it. So this is the original die, the snow globe. And then this is the rim I use, so the circle I use to put in there. So when you die cut these two, you put these together and you put some tape on the back so that they stay together. So that cut is exactly the same as this cut. Because otherwise you can imagine it's going to show the white. So it needs to be exactly the same. So glue that together, adhere that together with a piece of removable tape. And then this one will be the back. So that's just a piece of decorated cardstock. And then this one will be the like the part that I fold open. And I made a score line there, but I will explain it when I get there. So here I have the decorated paper one with the adhesive on the back. And this is the foam. And of course, when you uh, want to use make a shaker card, you're going to use the foam. So what I do, I kind of fold this back first, and then I'm going to line it up perfectly on that. And I can't lean into the camera, so I need to. So I'm going to put this on here, and it needs to line up perfectly, which is difficult where you cannot stand on top of it. But I think that's fine. And now I'm going to pull this away. You see, and now I'm going to line up. That circle exactly on that foam circle. You see, so now I have my foam here on the back. And you can see I have adhesive here as well. So I'm going to do exactly the same. And that foam cuts perfectly with the, uh, with the die. So it, it, it goes through the foam very easy. And I see I'm not lined up perfectly, but I know that will be fine at the end. So again, I do the same. And normally I would stand like just like straight on top of that. That's why it's a little bit more difficult to line it up. I think I'm going to do it this way, hold it in my hand like that and just lay that down. There we go. So that's that one. And then I have a piece of snow here. So that's one of the uh, papers that I had uh, for the snow. So I'm going to put that in here. And sometimes uh, I notice when I put the snow down, you can also put it in first if that's easier for you. And I had one time that it didn't fit perfectly. Because my snow globe was off a little bit, then you trim it a little bit. And just slide it in here. There we go. So that's my piece of snow. Then I'm going to put my penguin in there. And I'm going to take the a little piece of foam tape. See, so now I have my little scene in there. 
and then I will turn it around. So now, so this is the back of my card now, or the inside of my card. So now this is the back, it's going to be the back of my card. So I did draw a line here, but actually I made two score lines. So I made a score line here, and I made a score line here. And this part I'm going to cut off, because if I leave it like this, you see, then it's all round, then it will rock. And if I cut this off, then it's going to stand. So I'm going to trim it off here. But of course you can just use your trimmer, you don't need to draw the line. So that's going to be my standing line. And then here I put a piece of double-sided adhesive. So I'm going to turn this over, take this off. So where those lines are, that's the score line as well. And then again line it up here first. And then lay it down. You see, so now I have my card. And then I can just fold this. You see, and now I have a standing penguin card. You see? And he is super adorable. Then I have the little decorative piece on the front that has the Noel on it. So this one, I will put a piece of double-sided adhesive on there as well. And of course, you can actually cut this one with double-sided adhesive on the back. Makes it even easier. But this works perfect as well. So that's going on here. And then I'm going to take this one. So that's the Noel, and I cut that with the adhesive on the back already, and I poked out the pieces. So that shines through. Look how fun this is. Oh, yeah, I probably need to go a little bit. Here we go. You see, so now I have my card. And then those little snowflakes. So I have some little snowflakes. You see those are these? There are three in the set. So you can cut those if you want to make a shaker card. You can actually cut those as well. So put a little bit of the kids glue here. Just going to put them in there. I'm just going to decorate it with some of those little snowflakes. And again, they will be great for uh, shaker cards as well. Then you can just cut a lot of those snowflakes. That will be really fun as well. But for now, I'm just decorating that. Let's do one more here. And it's kind of fun because now that color comes back from the Noel here, so it comes back at the top. And then, of course, I'm not going to finish this card without some glitter dots. Let's do one more. Maybe here. And then I have the glitter dots, so I'm using the transparent gold ones. I'm just going to put it in the center of the snowflakes. It just gives that extra sparkle. And of course, you use your tweezer for that, your fine pointed tweezer. this. I love that little penguin in the snow globe. So that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and download the project sheet. And I've also suggested a couple of videos that I think you'll enjoy. See you next time.